Hey guys, gear up. I have this string containing Python code. Now, I store this string in a variable and want to execute this code. Your first thought will be, what nonsense? How is this possible? Actually, correct. How will I do this? As far as I can tell, the best we can do is print this string. Ugh. But this will not execute my code inside the string. So what should be done? Well, Python has a solution, the exec function. Okay, now take the string and pass it to the exec function. What will happen when we run the code? Any guesses? Yeah, the code will run successfully. Here's the output. Great, but what does it imply? The exec function in Python dynamically executes Python code, which can be a string or a code object. Let's move on to the coding part. Here, we have a simple Python program containing a function that prints a message. Great. Now, put this code within triple quotes and assign it to a variable. Now the last thing, pass it to the exec function. Upon running this code as expected, we got this. The exec function executed the string containing our function definition and function call. That's pretty cool, right? Wait, there's something more. We can also execute code from an external Python file. Let's see how that works. Assume we have a Python file containing a simple program. To execute this file using the exec function, we first need to read the file content into a string and then pass it to exec like this. And when we run this code, we get this output. The code from our file is executed just like any other Python script. Hold on. This looks great, but this function must not be used carelessly due to potential risks. But what risks? See, if you're executing code from an untrusted source, you could potentially run malicious code that compromises your system. To mitigate some risks, we can limit the scope in which the code runs by providing dictionaries for the globals and locals parameters. But how? Here's an example. In this example, we've restricted all the functions and classes from the date time module except for one, the date class, in the global scope. And as you can see, no variables and functions are provided for the local scope. Moving further, we can see that this exec call executes the string in the restricted environment defined by allowed underscore globals and allowed underscore locals. Then, this exec call executes this string in the same restricted environment. Okay, all set. Now when we run this code, we get this output. We can see that the first exec call prints the current date by accessing the date class, and we got the empty list for the second exec call due to the absence of any variables and functions in the local scope. Great, now let's experiment. Let's include a function that is restricted here, like this. What will happen now? Let's see. When we run this code, we get an error. Why? It's because access to functions and classes other than the date is restricted. Well, this does not guarantee foolproof security. There's always a risk associated with the exec function, so use it with caution. And that's a wrap for today. We've explored how to use the exec function to execute code from a string and a file and touched on some important security considerations.